What is up YouTube thrift school over here and I have a few eBay orders that need to get shipped out You guys can tell it's pretty dark outside just finished having dinner We were watching some Breaking Bad over there on the TV first time watching it. It's pretty freaking awesome. I love it um, but now I got a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't even know I had it's kind of hard to explain but I think there are some great goodies in here that I purchased over the past year or so. And I think I'm going to make a lot of money off this stuff. I'm going to show you guys this kind of stuff. Hopefully we have some awesome scores. These are items that I bought before we moved. And they got put into boxes and they got put into a closet that I had never even looked in. And uh, my girlfriend when cleaning today found them all and put them downstairs. So we're going to go through those. First I'm going to show you guys the couple things that sold overnight not nothing too great but still they're quick easy sales and I love them looks like Soph needs to go outside hey Soph gotta go outside all right let's put her outside what you gotta go outside you wanna go out yeah okay go on there you go you hear the frogs I hear frogs she could go hang out with the frogs that's fine Got to bring this chair back to the dining room table. This is what I play video games on and let's go grab those eBay orders. So first things first, heading into my kitchen, we have a order that I sold to a viewer over on YouTube. It is a signed 311 CD. I wish I had a picture of it, but I don't. Uh, the band 311, there was a signed CD that I got in a lot of other CDs that I purchased. I also have a signed Breaking Benjamin CD that I still need to sell. So if anybody's interested, let me know. Work out a deal. Uh, I sold that for $35 shipped. That is getting dropped off Monday morning. So if you're watching, there you go. You'll have it very shortly. And uh, I do have a few other signed CDs in this huge bundle lot that I purchased. Um, but that's one great sale. Also guys, tidbit you guys can see right here i put all the clothes pretty much all of them in my ebay store on auction starting at 9.95 somewhere at 14.95 just because of shipping costs or usually bigger items of clothing which is going to cost me almost 10 bucks to ship anyways so i had to throw those at 15 bucks but they're still great deals we're talking orvis patagonia brooks brothers vineyard vines great brand so check out my ebay store link is down below in the description uh, i think there's about two days or less left on these auctions and a lot don't have bids yet so if you're looking for a good deal on some clothing 10 bucks shipped so far on a whole bunch of really good pieces of clothing so check out the links down below but let's grab those ebay sales all right first item dvd shelf like always let's grab this bad boy right here NCIS season one brand new sealed seven dollars and 76 cents shipped this came out of that 25 dollar dvd lot that i purchased at a yard sale of two weeks ago or so maybe three weeks ago now i'm not sure uh, i paid 25 bucks for all of them this one sold for 776 it's going to cost me two dollars and 75 cents to ship this via media mail so i didn't make a lot of money on it but hey it's a couple bucks few bucks i'll take it and the next item we have here are some red box tape, uh, red box cases actually. You guys can see these are just blank empty cases. I sell them in lots of eight. People buy them. I'm not sure why. I actually got them all for free in some random bulk buy. And uh, so I sell them in lots of eight just to get rid of them. I was just going to throw them out or recycle them, but. Uh, what is that three but I realized that you know what they might sell so I listed them up on oh wow I grabbed a perfect date I listed them up on eBay and people have been buying them this lot of eight sold for eight dollars and ninety five cents they weigh under a pound I put some old CDs in here so I could ship them via media mail and it cost me two seventy five to ship and I got them for free and still have a bunch down here we actually have a lot more than just that I probably have another maybe 100 or so sitting in boxes in the basement so these are going to take forever to sell but i do end up making some money on them like i said i sold them for 8.95 shipped uh cost me 2.75 to ship them so really i'm not making a lot of money on them but hey it adds up over time it's one listing quick and easy and they were free so cool and then here's an order i sold but i've already packaged up this is a music CD lot of compilation discs sold for $29.95 for 20 of them. It's kind of a little deal I gave to somebody that was messaging me on YouTube. 
but I do have a bunch more that I'm listing right now, uh, except they're in lots of 16 for $29.95. Under two bucks a pop, you guys can see the kind of things. We just have a whole bunch of discs and they all have different uh, songs on them from different artists. Pretty cool. Here's an example of one of them. This is R&B Volume 5 from 2004. There's the disc in there and they all come with one of these little inserts. So, uh, here are extra inserts right here. They all come with an insert telling you, you know, what's on it and everything like that. But the cool thing that I include with each one of these, this is actually a jukebox slip that you could slide into a jukebox. So pretty cool, they came with them, so I just ship them off that way, and uh, I think it's nice. So I include lots of 16, I take the pictures right here, and I uh, lot them up, I think I have lots. Right here, I have two lots. Here's lot number two, lot number three, already sold the first lot, so if anybody wants these, or if anybody's interested in a different kind of genre, I have country, I have rock and roll, R&B, uh, I think I have a few others. You can see some of the extras right here, we have pop, we have R&B, rock, country, and you know, they're all different things. We got Kenny Chesney, that's all country stuff. Uh, the rock ones, you get a whole bunch of different bands here. Theory of a Dead Man, P.O.D., Frey, Dashboard Confessional. So, you know, big popular uh, artists, so pretty cool. Holy moly, so these are the boxes that she brought down here that were sitting in the closet. This looks like stuff that I actually already knew. This is interesting, and we have the washing machine going down here, so it's kind of loud. I feel like I already went through this stuff in a previous video. Uh, just some video games and stuff. That's nothing too interesting. Let's find something better. I know I have a box of things that I've never seen before, so let's try to find that box. So here's a bin, not quite a box, but a bin of items that I've had sitting around, and it's mostly electronics, I believe. I have not gotten around to looking through any of this. So this stuff needs to be tested, and that's one of the main reasons why I didn't get through to looking at all of it, but let's dig through this and see what kind of stuff we find. I'm gonna set the camera up right over here, and we're gonna take a look and see what kind of stuff we end up finding in this bin. I'm kind of excited because you never know what you'll find, and I feel like I'm gonna find some really awesome stuff. So let's prop this camera up correctly there we go let's see what kind of stuff we have in here so we have some of these blank media and i sell blank media all the time and i actually have so many blank vhs tapes these have kind of gone down in value but that's totally fine we'll just lot these up when we get a bunch of them eventually and we'll still be able to sell them it's just some random thing right here here we go this is interesting this is one of those logitech e-harmony remotes or not e-harmony <laughs> Definitely not eHarmony, but just Harmony One. And it looks like it comes with the dock and the remote, so this is something that we can charge. If it doesn't work, and I have a feeling it's not gonna work since it's sitting in here, this is something I would normally sell right away. If it doesn't work, I will sell it for parts over on eBay, and that's totally cool. Maybe somebody will want it for parts. Maybe they know how to fix it. I don't know how to fix these things, so I'm cool with that. Let's put that off to the side. Those can sell for great money, of course. Let's see what else we have in here. Um, looks like we have a phone set. Looks like a lot of stuff in here is going to be phone sets, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. Got a Panasonic phone set in here. This is, uh, looks like it's missing all the batteries. That's okay. Uh, what kind of phone? Panasonic KX TGA421. So maybe you guys are seeing over here on the screen how much this set goes for. There's also a KXTG4221, yep. So hopefully this goes for good money. I'm finding out right now while I'm doing the research. But yeah, this could be some great money. Now, a lot of the batteries for these do not hold a charge after all the years, so I buy replacements over on eBay. And uh, that's how I end up selling a lot of these uh, phones. There's a leaf, there's a little leaf in here. Here is a phone set. It looks like I paid $6.99 for it. It's all taped in here. There's a lot of phones in here. This is the KXTG6545SK. And hopefully this goes for good money as well. 
gonna have to buy replacement batteries for all these because these also do not have batteries in them. And uh, yeah, something we gotta deal with, but it's okay, it's no big deal. Also, this big thing down here, this is a Blu-ray player, a uh, Samsung Blu-ray player. It's missing a remote, and I don't even see where the disc would go in here to be completely, oh, disc in on the side right here. I don't know. Uh, looks like I paid 25 bucks for it, so this thing, or maybe I even got it on half off day, but still, this thing better still go for good money because it's been sitting for a long time, and I uh, hope I didn't lose money on that. We have a car charger. I was buying these in bulk for a really, really long time. This is a Halo Bolt. I was buying these from a guy locally, brand new, for about $40 or $35 a pop, something like that. And I was selling them over on Amazon for about 120 and it was great. I was buying so many of these, making so much money, and then all of a sudden I started getting a bunch of returns. He was selling me a bunch of defects mixed in with the new thing. So I stopped buying from the guy, and uh, the first bulk order I purchased from him was actually pretty good, and I didn't have a single return. Well, the second time I purchased from him, there were a bunch of returns, so maybe he was trying to take advantage of me, maybe he really didn't know, I don't know. But I never bought from him again, and uh, yeah, now I'm left with a bunch of these. Whenever I see one of these sitting around in my inventory, I know it doesn't work fully. Uh, usually they still charge fine, but the flashlight on the end wasn't working, and uh, that was really it, honestly, just the flashlight. So I could sell them without working flashlights, but I don't, I don't want to do that online, maybe locally, because these still sell for about 80 bucks or so online. So if I could sell them for 50, 60 bucks without a working flashlight, maybe people still want them. All right, let's see what else we have in here. Got some uh, camera printer paper, PlayStation controller. Hey, that's always good, right? Remote for a Panasonic Universal Remote Controlled for a DVD system. Not bad. Sometimes I paid two bucks for it. Sometimes remotes on them on themselves by themselves can sell for good money online. Hopefully, this is one of them. Again, another remote. This is a Sony. Uh, RMS44. I feel like I've sold this remote a couple times over on eBay at 8 to 12 bucks, I believe. We have a little portable DVD player, and I actually remember when I bought this. I bought this at a yard sale. Here's a little manual, and it holds a charge and everything when it's plugged in, but the second you unplug it, it dies. So that's kind of an issue. Uh, it could be a bad battery in here, or maybe this is just something, yeah, it says portable DVD player. So I don't know if you always have to have it plugged in. This is something I have to do more research on, but I never ended up selling it because I figured the battery was bad because I feel like a portable DVD player, when you unplug it, it should still work. Uh, I don't know 100% though, because I've never had one of these. So maybe it works perfectly fine, and I just never sold it because I was being paranoid. Another PlayStation controller. These are always great to kind of hoard, so you could bundle them with systems and make more money. Little Pac-Man electronic here. Uh, probably nothing special, so we'll just throw that off to the side. Looks like just a bunch of wires in here now. We have a few old cell phones that are actually cracked. Cracked screens, they're Nokias. Uh, I doubt they're worth anything since the screens are definitely cracked. I don't, you can kind of see on the camera there, they're pretty cracked, that one and that one. They're pretty smashed at the top. So I doubt these are worth anything. These I'll probably have to recycle. They have uh, cell phone recycling at Walmart, I think Target, uh, Best Buy, places like that. So you can recycle these. Uh, maybe if I find a few more broken cell phones, I can just sell a lot of cracked screen cell phones. Uh, I've done things like that all the time. Uh, random wires. Looks like everything else in here is random wires. We have a, a GameCube controller. Those are always worth good money. We have a Canon camera charger, battery charger. This is actually good. The battery charger LCE5. And since it's OEM, which means original manufacturer or something like that, they actually come from the manufacturer. It's not a knockoff from China. You could sell this for a little bit money, a little bit of money over on eBay. So hopefully it's worth something. And then everything else in here looks like it's just wires for video game systems, telephones, things like that. So I definitely think that there's good money in that bin. Well, I know there is. Uh, and that's something that I wanted to kind of show to you guys. You might have a little bit of a death pile or something, maybe a bin of stuff that you just haven't wanted to test or haven't wanted to go through. And uh, that's one of mine. I have multiple like that. So that's something where I haven't gone through it in I don't even know how long. I didn't even know what was in there. All I knew what was sitting on top, some phones and things like that. So definitely try to go through all of your bins and all of your extra boxes laying around the house. So yeah, we had some 
mediocre sales over on eBay. Uh, those two really small sales and the $130 uh, CD sale and then the $35 signed CD sale. So not great sales for the day, but that's fine. We still have Amazon making up the back end and I've had a few comments, people asking me to start showing off my Amazon sales a little bit more. I used to do it all the time, I just haven't done it in a while. Maybe in the next video or so, we'll go over a bunch of my Amazon sales. I'll just pick a bunch of random ones to show you guys the kind of things that are selling over there. I sell pretty much what you guys see on eBay sales. That's the kind of stuff I sell on Amazon, just no DVDs because I'm not allowed to. Uh, but I sell CDs over there, I sell toys, games, video games, uh, kitchenware, just I sell everything. I love the question whenever I'm uh, talking to someone new and they say, hey, what do you sell online? I never know what to say, I just say a little bit of everything. And then I go on a rant and I say, video games, CDs, media, kitchenware, toys, uh, electronics, clothing. I sell everything on Amazon and I sell everything on eBay. Don't ever sell yourself short and only sell a few things from a category. You wanna spread yourself out and you'll learn more, you'll know what kind of stuff sells, you'll be able to find more when you go to uh, yard sales or thrift stores or pawn shops, wherever you decide to go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School, signing out, see ya.